Mentally, it's stressful when the heat starts kicking in. I've been working here for uh, 15 years already. 15 years and it's, uh, it's pretty hard during the summertime. This farming region in California grows about two thirds of the nation's winter vegetables and is known to be extremely hot in the summer. The county has one of the largest Latino populations and the highest number of heat-related illnesses among farm workers. We have to usually come in early, uh, around 4, 4 in the morning when the sun doesn't even come out yet. And then we usually end up finishing our, our day's job around 9 because after 9 it gets really, really hot. Researchers from San Diego State University are working to understand the health consequences of chemical exposure and heat stress on farm workers and where heat is most extreme in this rural landscape. We try to assess everything that happens because in many cases after they, they've been working so hard and they cannot cool off with these really high temperatures in this region, we're talking about 115 sometimes, 120 Fahrenheit. Environmental monitors measure the day's temperature, humidity, wind speed, sun angle, and cloud cover. Together with satellite imagery, researchers are analyzing and mapping where heat is more extreme. We're trying to understand what are the specific sections that we can intervene at some point to reduce their exposure to heat.